Grüezi and welcome back to Endless Space 2, where today we are going to start a new episode or a new uh, playthrough with the United Empire. By your will, the Empire shall reign supreme. And so we shall. So let's like take a look at what they're good at. So, Emperor's Will is their special affinity that makes them use influence to buy out star system improvements, research technologies, and purchase resources on the marketplace. So basically, instead of just being able to use dust, we can also use influence. It's like a secondary monetary resource. We also get 0.1 influence per industry spent so that means we should focus on influence and on production as as much as as humanly possible then we also start with imperials which give us just straight one influence from their pubs and they also give us industrialists opinion which is playing into that we also start with usual citizens which are militarists and give us a little bit more um, manpower capacity. Not really great citizens, in my opinion, so I might just like try to get rid of them. We'll see about that. Uh, we also are expansionists, so we let get less overcolonization penalty on Empire, which is great. We are patriots, which gives us way more manpower capacity. Not all that great, but you know, it's still something. We also start with Sino uh, Lin, can I say it? Sino Linguistics. There we go. Uh, which is one of the best technologies to start with. And also off world agribusiness, which is uh, very decent. More approval and uh, mostly also to be able to talk with the minor factions. Very good. We start on Raya, which I think is a Terran world. I'm not quite sure. We will see it in a second. We also start as a federation, which is the best type of government for any um, empire focusing in any way on influence, since you can uh, influence the elections with influence. That sounds weird. And yeah, we also start with industrialists, which means the base law will give us money per um, industry spend. So it's also going to play very nicely to that. All right. Let's select that. The rest is more or less the same. I did change up some of the colors just so it kind of looks a bit nicer. We now have like color pairs, uh, bright and the darker version, and then obviously two like non-related ones. The rest is the same. So let's dive into that and look at the um, introduction video for the United Empire. Obviously, we are Emperor, I think Maximilian Zelevas. I'm not quite sure about the first name, but yeah, that's us basically. And I think the video is about to start, so I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy the video. Maybe anytime soon. Under the visionary leadership of Emperor Zelibus, we have become a proud and powerful nation. It is time to rise up, grasp our future, and seek our destiny among the stars. Imagine the future that we can build. We shall construct great fleets, send them out to make great discoveries, and through their conquests, secure our place in this rich galaxy. We will discover new sciences and new life. We will greet new peoples and turn them into new patriots. Together, we shall leave our mark on history. For together, we can become anything our hearts desire. Whatever the cost, whatever the effort, let us not shy away from the greatness that is our birthright. As you can see, a whole lot of propaganda going on there. It certainly isn't as great as they advertise. All right, so we started in a colliding disk galaxy, which is um, not the greatest for uh, certain types of victories, especially uh, the, what are they called? 
like militaristic ones. It's gonna be a bit difficult to get everywhere, but we'll see which path we'll take. All right, so let's start here. That's just some information. We did start with uh, NP artifacts for one of our citizens, and the other one is Transvine. And we also have a deposit of Dust Cities trees. Let's have a look at our populations. Okay, Imperials have Transvine, so we could potentially double the influence we gain from them, which is um, pretty powerful. I mean, that just basically allows us to run a stronger law. And for the Yusho, we're never ever gonna boost those because not only are the bonuses pointless, but also that's a very high tier resource that we're not gonna get anytime soon. We also start with the Dust Windfall, as uh, we see, like 10% of the industry spent is converted into dust at the end of the turn, which is nice. For the first turn, we'll see whether we'll put in any laws, but let's have a look here. We do have a counselor, so they are generally better in systems. Now, one of the commenters mentioned why I was putting my hero directly into the system and not explore with it first. Um, we get this bonus, and even if 5% for a low number is practically nothing, it will still boost the speed for how we, we progress here. So my go-to usually is to put any system hero, like a counselor or a, an overseer, into the system itself. So that's what we're going to do here. It might not be optimal, but this is what I'm doing. If you don't like it, deal with it. So as we can see here, when we construct it in the bottom left, we see Emperor's Will is giving me 16 influence from completing that. We also have the option to buy it out using influence. It is very expensive though, so we'll see about that. And eventually we'll also be able to buy it out with dust, and we can compare the prices and choose whatever is more suitable. So obviously we're going to start with Throne Networks. We are in Tito on a Terran world, so this is the only logical follow-up. And uh, we'll see from there. All right, we do have also a settler and a patrol ship. Let's have a look at the design of this patrol ship. So we only have two support slots and I will not be changing that. That's as good as it gets. Very poor for exploration, but still. We also have a settler and here we might be able to put more engines on. It doesn't need a weapon for sure. So maybe like this we can make a rather cheap upgrade it's gonna just cost us 30 uh, because we removed the weapon because doing this it will make it more expensive again but yeah this way we can have a cheap um, settler that is a bit faster which is great but yeah the patrol ship really not great and I'm actually considering not researching these curiosities for now because we haven't settled here anyway um, so what I'm gonna do is just send out one probe in one direction. Um, probably send the probe here and then drive or fly in the other one. I will leave my ship here for now. I will upgrade it though, so it's gonna be a bit faster. I will leave it here for one turn. If we haven't discovered anything after one turn, we'll probably just send it somewhere. Okay, we also need to research something. And the first thing I want to do is this one for the uh, public-private partnerships, which is a great uh, system improvement so early on. And also it allows us to colonize Tundra, which is not all that great, but um, yeah, we're gonna need Mediterranean. And hey, look, we're in the ESO system. What a coincidence. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, have a look at the basically all of the episodes of the Horatio playthrough, because the ESO system has uh, a big place in my heart now. All right, so yeah, we want to have Mediterranean anytime soon and potentially also Ash. It's gonna be a good productive system. Actually, this whole system is gonna be very productive as with three hot planets. Very good. All right, see, so we want to get Mediterranean also pretty soon. So I think that's this one. Yeah, that's that one. So I guess those two early on and then we will see where we continue. But these are like the base technologies that I want for now. And we'll take it from there. All right. How happy are we? We are at 50%. We don't really know what the approval is going to be in one turn. But what we can do in the meantime is this one here. This is just going to give us more science without really penalizing us. So let's just do that.
Perfect. Please find something? No, not yet. Also not here, but there is a system from blue, so that just means we're gonna go this route. So we'll find our first neighbor fairly soon. That's gonna be a bit of an issue, but um, we should have a military advantage over them early on. So, yeah, I mean, do we want to change laws right now? The only thing that would make sense is the new colony, which is a great buff, actually. And as long as we don't have a system to settle on, it doesn't make sense to get that yet, to spend that influence. So let's just bank it for more turns. And I think we're still, yeah, we are uh, on a decent approval. How much are we losing, actually? Minus six. So, yeah, we wouldn't even be on... Uh, what is it? Happy? So let's just leave it be. Oh, it is the show again. Wow, they really like us as neighbors, right? So we also have a Boreal. Not the greatest start, but it is going to be a good science planet. There isn't a Mediterranean planet here. That would be a better location to settle. Would it, though? Hmm... I mean, food-wise, it doesn't make a difference, but from then on, it's going to be better to build it up. So I think we're just going to settle here and then as quickly as possible colonize that and put all the pops there to grow it there, just so we have a decent production. There's also some uh, dust ruins, which give us uh, dust and approval. That's nice. That's really great. So yeah, let's uh, settle here. Very nice animation here, but I think we've seen that a couple of times already. So, um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. We're gonna use this one shortly after. So, now we can also change the laws, right? So, yeah, after completion of an outpost or acquiring a new colony, um, we'll get a bonus, but we also already would get the bonus to food if we had this law. So we're going to change that. We don't go for science anymore. It did take one turn off that. Uh, but I think this is going to be more important. We have the influence to support this and still gain some. So that's great. And there's more systems there. That's also a good thing to know. Uh, given that the Hisho are around here, I think I'm just going to... I'm not quite sure how I'm, sure I'm gonna handle it. I think I'm gonna go there and see what's around. I'm debating whether or not I should send a pro, but it looks like it even connects here, which could be a bit of an issue. In the name of the but yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay, and with that, it's just time to go for the next one. Oh no, it's actually time to hack. Uh, first of all, a crypt, and I guess we can just try that. It is very risky, though, though, isn't it? Oh, that would also work. It's gonna take a while, but that's actually a good way to get early technologies for free. Uh, we might have a better option fairly soon, but yeah, I don't want to have uh, it going from my home system yet, because it can get cancelled pretty easily. So yeah, that's how we do it. Perfect. That's actually great in this matter that we start close to another one. But it also means we are likely to need to send more colonizers fairly soon. Because, yeah, the Heats are already here. And otherwise we'll have to conquer everything. It looks like the constellation is fairly small. It does go on till down here, though, which is a bit confusing. Does it, like, loop around or what? I mean, it could be. Like, from if you look at that, it looks like it's going in this world here so we'll see but yeah having the constellation bonus shown here signifies that there's something down here that's still part of the constellation okay the laws are still great i think we'll leave this they have a colonizer here and i want to know what is over there so i will present one probe there and then even go in this direction because this is more like what i can see myself going to and defending and everything we now have enough... Oh, interesting. Mira. Uh, another Mediterranean. There's really a lot of Mediterranean around here. And it looks like it's gonna be connected. So that means... I will definitely queue up a settler here. It's three turns. Is it worth the wait, though? 
completing this will give us 10 more production. We have 140 for this one. This will give us 30 more production. So that would go from 48 to 78, doing this in two turns. It will take only one turn off. So that means it's going to be in 10 turns instead of in four. I don't think we can wait. I think we will have to get out there as quickly as possible. Until the ship is here, it's going to be time to, to settle those. All right, so you have arrived here. You spent one probe there. And then go over there. Okay, that's our faction quest. So we can intimidate citizens, I guess, with uh, reaching enough manpower to get Punisher Drives, which is more damage on ships. Interesting. This is a free outpost. I guess that is a single planet system, which is not all that great. It's very easy to reach, but the outpost not that great as far as i remember i could be wrong here locate 10 curiosities oof oh that is a great bonus for colonizing fast but that would mean i would need to get a second scout out there to do that or the hero now i kind of regret having assigned him to the system because he's locked now for how many more turns four turns it's actually not that bad i could take him off send him about because there's sure a lot of curiosities to scan i think we're gonna go for this one this is a great bonus i mean this is gonna be useful as well but it's gonna only show really a bit later this is gonna help tremendously so another thing i want to do with all the money i have now is this one here cut down the cost or, or the development time at least we also have already we asking you to remove your fleets although I don't think you're wow you even did that interesting they did research I think one of the curiosities on ESO 3 so that's a thing that happened yeah I really should have started with the curiosities I think once I'm here I will just send one probe up there actually I'm pretty sure I mean I know that it's gonna connect it's very obvious so maybe I don't even need to so I'll just focus on getting the curiosities because their probe ship is back here will take some time until they can get their probes back all right You're gonna arrive in one turn and you're gonna have, I think, only one probe right now, right? So, yeah, let's uh, get started here. Do I want to get these? They can be pretty bad. I'm not sure I want that. Let's do it anyway. Okay, that was a good one. That's more science and uh, happiness. Let's see what more we get there. We did get the Tundra colonization. Okay, that's good for the public-private partnerships. And I guess get faster movement. That's actually great for this ship as well. We can build it as is and then put some more engines on it. We also found Eden Incense. Yes, that's actually a great resource. I would love to have that as my first system development. Because we're gonna capitalize on influence as much as we can to the point where we might even also change to where is it to this one here wait what there used to be a bonus for influence per pop is that simply not shown right now because that is for every law there was one bonus for for per pop maybe it's simply not shown right now but yeah for religious that would be plus one in front and honestly this bonus is also playing very nice together with the united empire not that they are very religious per se but yeah okay we'll see about that but uh, for now i think it's just like tur taking turns here 
we did get a new probe, so I guess we're just also gonna do it here. If it's an anomaly, bad luck, but oh well. Or good luck, depending on what it is. The Sidious Trees, that's a nice one as well, so it's actually gonna be a pretty nice uh, planet here. Sciencey, dusty, yeah. Just not very productive. Okay, so... That, this, this gives us options then for further uh, developments. Is this a an average deposit? So two per turn. But we already get that, so that's great. We're gonna have uh, at least some fairly soon. Oh, and they settled on the Mediterranean world. That is unfortunate. But I kind of guess I could have seen it coming. Um, that said. I think we need to know whether or not there's something to settle here, so I I just have to to go there to find another place to settle, because currently there's nowhere we could put our colony down. And even then, this is their first one, so they're probably just gonna buy it out fairly quickly. Which might mean that we'll just focus on war very early on. <laughs> Seems like a lot like the previous playthrough with the Horatio. They actually have a great score already. Wow. Okay, that sucks a little bit. Oh, you really want that, dude. You really want that. If they buy out this one, I'm gonna be furious. I'm not sure even how much that costs for them. But actually, this way it's a bit faster for us. And it colonizes both planets. That would also be potentially useful. Um... There are curiosities there, so I'm just gonna try and block the colony from completing any quickly. Can I get easy access to Ash? That would be an option, right? 13 turns, that takes a lot of time. I don't think we have that kind of time. Although every option is 13 turns. And it does take them 37 turns to complete that, so... Worth a try, I guess. Not really what I'm normally doing at this stage. Uh, this would also be great for the food. This is really difficult indeed. But yeah, I kind of want to at least put a colony down. And it would probably be better though. Do we have the chance of doing that? Yes, and it is going to be cheaper. At least once this technology is done. Uh, it's gonna give us more food than an ash planet, which is zero. So the chances of actually like outperforming them is at least there, because I think it's gonna be very difficult. We're gonna need ships very soon. And I think what we're gonna do for that is make a kind of uh, corvette. Come on, Corvette ship, because uh, the scout ship is actually a fairly decent attack vessel, as you can see. We have two weapon slots, and I'm tempted of using torpedoes. Very tempted. Because the he should tend to go towards um, laser weapons, laser beams. So maybe this is an option. Maybe I'll just mix it up. Excuse me, mix it up a little, like like so. That way I'll always have something to shoot at them with. And I can add one each. Something like so. And a, an engine. That's like a proper ship. Name of the ship is already used. Okay, maybe I should use something else then. Let's call it uh, Zolia. Interesting, but I don't see it anywhere. Okay, well, uh, it's gonna be the Zol Zolia class. How expensive is that to make? Three turns right now. It's gonna take a bit off there, and I'm, I will want to finish that. Um, I don't think I will even want to ask that of them. So, let's see. More turn, then upgrade design. 
of our colonizer. Pretty faster ship, faster engines, and no weapons, please. Uh, 57, that's alright. And then... Oh, I need to bring it out of the hangar first, maybe. Four turns, that's decent. Not great, but decent. And already that bug, that's annoying. I hate that bug. Okay, so... Can you actually already get out of the system now? Okay. Question now. The immediate benefits here are not that great. This would be 5 dust. This would be 3 influence. This would be 3 production, 3 food. That's not all that great. Plus obviously the 5%. I think I'm just gonna make this a temporary scout. Uh, I don't have really the money for that, do I? Let's take off the weapons. We don't need this for now. I just want probes as many as we can get. This is something I can afford. Maybe I can put one of the weapons back. Seriously. Also, again, seriously. Yeah, no weapons then. Defense? Yes, defense is possible. I guess we're just gonna go for a shield then. So, we'll update that again as soon as we can. But, I mean, for now we'll have three probes and decent movement. Actually, not really that great movement. That's probably too expensive, right? I mean, it's gonna spend most of its time just staying on a system, regenerating probes, so maybe five movement is enough. Is this ship really so slow? Crazy. Yeah, I'm so not sure about that. Six of those is plenty. Let's let's try this. You do have a level. Should I use that for something fleet related? Would also not really make sense. So I'll just keep it for now, I guess. So let's create a hero fleet. And we start obviously with zero probes. That's a bit annoying. Uh, so I'll do one turn waiting here, get this one, Curiosity, then move there. Three turns, maybe I should have gone for the engine then. Oh well, can't really decide all the time the right way. Okay, so, well I should have made the fleet earlier and then just checked the movement rage. Um, yeah, let's uh, go to the next turn. I just need to keep an eye out on Mira here. So, um, here we look good. We're done in three turns. I'm just worried that they will just buy it out. This is a big issue here. So, here obviously, first of all, probe business. I do not want to give them anything, so I'll just do it here. Super spots, that's actually good. That's gonna be extra food for growing the base. And then we're just gonna guard, which should slow their growth down. They actually have outpost loss in 13 turns. They might start doing something about it, but I think that's great. Okay, so you have a probe. Do that and move on. We did get metallic waters, okay. And revive and rebuild. What's that? Can I see that? No, don't, not really. Okay, you're already hostile. Of course you are. Score-wise, they are far ahead of us. They just have one more pop here. That's uh, the main difference, I guess. So let's see. This arrives in one more turn. And here we are looking pretty good. In one turn we're done. So I don't think they will take this from us unless they do it right now. Perfect. Then, we have now Mediterranean colonization, which is kind of not so important anymore. Should I do that? It's life form, both of them. This is probably just gonna be luxuries. 
Let's do it. It was Tastidious Trees, not that bad of giving them that. And yeah, the food quickly went up again because it cancels the guard mode for some reason. Okay, we also have unlocked 19 technologies. That's the uh, Behemoth quest. Nothing interesting there. Oof, do I want that? 10 science right now is a third of our income. I will find a free tech. I don't think I can afford that, really. I need arid colonization as quickly as possible, because, I mean, I can't put that down for now. I, I can't. I, I never not do that, but... I, I just can't. Oh god, this is so pressing matters. I want to get this done as soon as possible. But I also want to get started with Zolia designs. And I want to get the planet done. Why, I might not even make any of these in the end. And I also still need to make cere cerebral reality. But yeah, we're at least slowing this one to a crawl. So next turn, the system shall complete for us. We have pirates nearby. That's not a big deal. They are close to the Hisho. They will likely take care of them. That is a scout. Also not a big deal for us. So let's scan all the curiosities. We want these ones. Nice. And here we will settle. Why not? The planet is already colonized. Oh, right. We, we need to wait for that. I will buy it out as soon as it's possible. How quick is our hacking? In three turns. And we should also put a defense in right now there. So you just chill. And the other one guards, that's fine. Colonized, that's great. That's a big win for us. I mean, we, we stole a lot there. So obviously this is going to give us 10, 20 production. This is going to give us 10. Still very worthy to do those. It looks pretty bad though. Uh, but yeah, we're going to definitely be over here, right? We're not going to get any signs out of it, sadly. Here we will. But I think production is going to be way more important. It's going to get the loop going fast. I mean, I can just split them afterwards, but yeah. Yeah, I know that you don't like that. So yeah, we did find the city's trees and titanium. Great. You stay there until you have more probes. You stay there until we can actually do something with the system. They can still buy it out, I think, at this stage. And we also still need to uncover more of the galaxy. Okay, we have an um, enemy detected, nothing interesting there. Hostile Trace has been detected, but yeah, we're done in- oh, actually knights four turns. Alright, you have two more probes. Let's uh, get the ash and desert done. Not all that great. And then we just wait one more turn. Nothing found, and the other one was just a anomaly. Now that are metallic waters, but some dust. That's nice. Um, all right. We can get this, and I think we should. Eden incense. Great. I really want that planet. You shall never get that from me. We're already, yeah, we're also producing those. We can soon make our first uh, development, but yeah, we'll need more technologies. We are really not good on science right now. We need those public-private partnerships up and running as quickly as possible. This research is too slow. It's just too slow. Okay. Last curiosity here and then move on. That was the quest completed, so that's great. We can now consider putting the hero back as soon as we can. I don't quite see 
in three turns. Okay. Okay, that's not worth it. So, I guess we'll just leave him here then. Because I don't want him back as soon as possible. There's a pirate ship coming from there, so it's probably another pirate base there. I guess we'll just send him back there and then unassign him and do the rest. So we did get that, that's great. It's gonna help uh, tremendously on Mira. We also found a Mianthoid. Interesting, did we get a new, like, population type? We indeed did. Remnants, probably from an event right here. Or from the expedition. Yeah, actually that. That's a good type of population to have, I think. Let's just look again. So they are industrialists. Money on happiness. That's actually a decent population to have. I like them. Nice. And they have as a bonus more production, which is great. And a law, which I don't know by heart. I also got that bonus. That's great. So that's a lot of titanium to work with initially. Okay, so now I need to name a successor, like quest-wise. And I have a few options here. All of them is going to give me a free hero. Question is, what kind of hero do I want? So, if we look at this one here, Imperials are very great for um, system governance. So they have this one here, which is a lot of production. They have uh, strategic, um, what's it called? Strategic resources, boosted production, influence, like basically everything that is strong about, also manpower here. So they're really good for, for uh, systems. They only have damage per CP, which is also a really good buff, by the way. And shield absorption. Everything else is system related. So, I would like to get a system hero. That means not Petra, because she is a seeker. Lena is actually a good option. It's a counselor and it's religious. Which is something I'm kind of aiming to go for. And Hadri is a guardian which doesn't really go well with what I want to do. So I guess it's just this one. And with a little bit of effort we can get that fairly easily. So yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Alright, how do we make this happen? First and foremost we need to get cerebral reality everywhere. So that's already 30 dust. And then we'll need some more. And probably the best one to do this is with Sino Tourism Agencies, right? Yeah, it is. Um, that's going to give us, I think, three dust on planets with, with uh, luxuries, which we have plenty of. So I think this is something we'll have to research afterwards. Do I have a planet that has Hyperium already? No, but fairly soon. In 10 turns. It would make sense to take this. So it will just take longer for having the money. Which means later for getting the hero. I think it's still worth it to go this way. Hyperium can be a very sought after resource. When does our hack complete? Two turns, okay. So they did get a ship in there. Also a pirate ship, which is probably just gonna attack us, unfortunately. Uh, let's send one probe down here. I wanna see what's there. So yeah, we need to wait four more turns for that. Uh, still something we don't see, but it was, I think, the industrial complex or whatever it's called. So yeah, three turns we can finally make more signs happen. Neutral hackers are active. Don't really care about that right now. I think as long as nobody attacks here, I think I'm not going to do anything. The pirates use lasers. The problem is, if I attack now, we're basically at the Mexican standoff right now. If I attack, the Hisho might attack afterwards, which I don't want. So I'll just leave it like this. If the Hisho go on, and then the pirate attack me, it's fine. If the pirate go away, I don't care. So yeah, I will just go to the next turn. But I think we have reached a good stopping point for now. Uh, it's a very early stop here, but... Um, 
yeah, we look at a potentially really good situation with three very good systems if we can make Mira happen. I mean, we'll make it happen somehow, peacefully or forcefully. And um, yeah, come back next time to see how it all develops. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.